Scotty the body and the grappler and an incident that happened here last Saturday night. Well, I want to show you this now. We've got a special tape. You'll see exactly what happened between Scotty and the grappler and why they're going at it tonight. Roll the tape, Larry. You're going to be crazy. Brian Andrews in complete control. Oh, oh. oh, no, he was out of control there. He hit the referee, and the referee is down right hey, now. Brian Andrews is my favorite wrestler. He's my best friend in the world. Wait a minute. I, I, oh, you, oh, oh. How about the illegal? <laughs> That's the illegal. All right. Got everybody attacking Brian Adams. Somebody's got to stop this. With his own kendo stick. That Adam, cheap scoundrel. Adams attacked with his own kendo. And now look at Scotty's counting for the referee. He counted three times. Sandy Barr is out of it. Sandy, Sandy Barr is out of it. His arm went up and down three times. But Scotty the body was the one who did, he did the counting. Brian Adams has I'm been confused. counted. Well... I am too, but it looks like. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Here comes the grappler! Ah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! The grappler Get him! Scotty. Get him! What Get is him. going on here? Get that! Oh, that disgusting fig! I'm glad. What is going on? Now the grappler the wakes up the referee. Right. The referee knew that his hand came down three times, but he didn't know who for. He's I can't believe this! I've never seen anything like this before. Jonathan Holiday, I've never seen anything like this before. Hey, what can I say? The so grappler Brian Andrews are the best wrestlers in the world. And that, that, that guy in the body, look, he cheated. Scotty hey. deserved it. Oh. He needs to be whipped in the line. Scotty can't believe what happened. I can't believe what, Sandy, oh, look at this. Scotty just attacked the grappler with the candlestick. Can you believe what's happening? Scotty the body. <laughs> Attacking the grappler. Oh, man, oh, man. Now you know what? Now what's that going on? Punk, that punch should be out the liver. Oh, oh, yeah. Grappler whipped him the, in the shape. He took the belt away from the referee, and he's whipping Scotty. Scotty trips the grappler. We have got, we've got another match we going on in here. We right. got <laughs> Oh, come on, grappler. Where's Brian Adams at? Oh, Adams is out of here. Oh, I'd love to be Look at there. this. The grappler and Scotty going at it. They're really going at it. Here comes Curtis Thompson. Here comes Ricky Santana. Bill Francis. They're trying to break this thing up. They're trying to break it up. I've never seen. I, I've never People should mind their own business and let the grappler whip that boy into shape. I, He's lost his mind. Oh, well, I'd say that about you, but there's again, nothing to lose. Oh, I've never seen anything like this before in professional wrestling. Uh, Listen so, to these people! These two-faced people! Right. It's oh, there, he got him again! Got him body on the grappler. They, these men cannot keep... Hey, you know what? You're messing with the wrong mascot of the body! Ladies and gentlemen, the next event will be one fall. Next week, Brian Adams meets that big world champion wrist wrestler in a wrestling bout here. And believe me, this guy is bigger than Brian Adams. Introducing in this ring, Oh, hold it, hold it. Scotty the body. What's going on? The grappler's attacking Scotty the body. He sure is. And Scotty Already. the body, I, I warned Scotty, you know, I mean, Scotty's my boy, but I said, you know, are you sure you're doing the right thing by going taking on the grappler? I mean. Wait, hold it, hold it, hold it. The grappler, as the grappler put on some weight all of a sudden, that doesn't, the body just doesn't look like the grappler. Looks like the grappler to me. Uh, the mask is the grappler, and the tights are the grappler, but the, the body, I don't know. Something's weird here. Something it. 
Oh, wow, Scotty almost got his shoulders pinned. I don't understand, you know, I mean, everybody argues, but, you know, I really think he's making a bad move taking the grappler on. I mean, they know each other well. They've been friends for months, off and on. I just think he's making a mistake. Something is strange here, Jonathan Holliday. That does not look like the body of the grappler out there. Uh, whoever it is, Scotty the body is laying some lumps on him. Whoa! Both men go down. Scotty. You know, he's making a mistake now. He's listening to the people while he wrestles. I mean, Scotty shouldn't be doing that. He should just pay attention to his opponent. And now uh, he's got uh, the grappler, or whatever that is, throws him back in the, in the ring. And something is, I don't know. Well, maybe it is. There goes a whip. No, reversal whip. Scotty goes into. No, he doesn't either. What a move by Scotty the body. Arm drag. That he's. He is, oh, hard kick right upside the head. It was a high drop kick. He expected a little bit more inertia from the grappler to get a little bit more of an impact. But nevertheless, it was effective. Well, That's why a lot of guys throw their opponents against the ropes for a drop kick. So when they nail him with the drop kick in the face, it knocks them out a little bit easier. Hey, this guy's got too much girth. Grappler doesn't have that much girth. This is not, that's, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, I don't take notes what my opponents look like as far as body size. I know what they wrestle like. Uh, uh, Scotty, I, I, I don't think. Now that's well, a mistake there. Now he should Scotty's be. Going for the, he's going for the mask. I don't think he's uh, co convinced that's the grappler. Hey! <laughs> yeah, I told you. Moondog Moretti. Here comes the grappler. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, the grappler attacking Scotty the body from behind. This is exactly what? what I was talking about. You, should, you know, he shouldn't, you can't take anything away from the grappler. He's got something up his sleeve. You cannot beat the grappler. Oh, you come on. You cannot beat the grappler. That's not professional wrestling, Jonathan. That's, that's professional. Uh, that is professional wrestling. That's vandalism. You know that's... what? I'll say one thing. You know, Scotty was one of the only people that were willing to train me when my arm was hurt. <laughs> no gyms would accept me except for Nautilus Plus. That was the only one that would. But Scotty was the only one that would train me. He's my boy, but he's making a mistake by going up against the grappler. He is making a mistake. For uh, one, the grappler's got more in his arsenal than this guy has been exposed to. That. That's, I mean, Scotty's got a lot of talent. Don't get me wrong. But, I mean, it's just a mistake. You never overmatch yourself. That's the secret to success. Oh, Scotty just taking hard jabs. He, Scott, he, hey, listen. Scotty doesn't even know where he is right now. He's been attacked. Oh, yes, he does. Believe me, he may be a little his, bit loose. Look at this. His eyes are glassy. He, he falls out of there. Right? His, eyes are like, his back was to your face, Mr. Collins. Hey, he was facing us for a minute. You can tell. Hey, man, the guy is just, he's groggy. Let me he's, tell you something. When a guy's <laughs> eyes are glassy and he's really out of it, he's going to be on his knees. He's not going to be standing up. Hey, Scotty can stand up with glassy eyes. That's the kind of a fighter. You know what I mean? Here. What did I tell you? Well, he's trying to shake the cobwebs out of his head right now. He's taking a heck of a beating in there from both, from the grappler. This time it really is the grappler. And a heart. Oh, Scotty blocks it and comes back with the right hand. Well, he nailed him with a good. I, I just, I can't really pick sides on this. I mean, I, to be honest, I don't want to be biased on either side because they're both tremendous competitors and tremendous credits to the profession. And, and it really hurts me to see these two going at it with each other in the ring. All right, grappler going for a suplex. And, oh, straddles Scotty up on top of the turnbuckle. Scotty is hurting right now, Jonathan. He's hurting. That's that third leg concept again. And uh, Scotty, the body, uh, you know, I see he's not even lifing with it. Well, he's holding on to the rim turnbuckle. Good, good point. He's trying to, he's trying to hoist him up off that. Oh, baby, it kind of backfired on the grappler. That was exactly what the grappler had in mind. Here comes a, a flying drop kick. Well, that looks like something I would have done, but uh, well, you did. All right. Into the ropes goes Scotty the body. Oh, the grappler's got him in an airplane spin. Now this will put him out on his feet. Eight reps. Oh, coming down for a crash landing. And he's still, he's still on his feet. Well, Look the thing at that. about being dizzy is you lost your peripheral vision, a DDT. You know the grappler taught, taught Jake the Snake Roberts how to do the DDT. He is the master of the DDT. The well, grappler is the master of the DDT. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Here comes Ginger. <laughs> well, we haven't seen Ginger for a while. Is it, the grappler was reaching in there to get some of that dye. He was reaching in his boot there to get some of that dye to spit on, on Scotty. And the 
Who oh. Ginger's got a hold of his hair? That girl's a walking waterbed. She doesn't belong in the ring. She belongs out oh, there with the rest of the cattle. Taylor made Medina in there. Now then she's got Ginger. What in the world is going on here? There's a real woman. Oh, oh yeah. Taylor made slapping Ginger. Look at the muscles on that lady. That's a woman. Well, that's not a lady. Oh, now here comes now Scotty. That's a woman. Scotty attacking well, look at Ginger. the you know what? Look, look out now. Medina's got Scotty by the hair. Look oh. at this. Well, that Medina's strong. She bench presses 325 pounds, that woman. Hey, oh, you know, oh. hey, look at this stuff. Ooh. Ginger got the die from the grappler. She spit it on Medina. You know, if that stuff gets in your eyes, you're blinded, man. Dye. That is a mixture of baking soda, Tide washing detergent, and that stuff will blind anybody. Hey, that, if that gets in your eyes, man, you've had it. You're blinded. And Ginger, she sprayed, it. she sprayed it all over. She's been Taylor. dishing too many people. Wait a minute. Hold it. Taylor Mate's coming up here. The uh, people are on their feet right now cheering that fat cow. Well, of course. You, hey, wait a minute. They, they want to see justice done. Taylor Mate, hey, you got that stuff all over you. God, the most a maniac. She tried to blind me. Look what she did to my beautiful body. God. Yeah, that stuff gets in your body. She tried to blind me. She almost blinded me. It's all over my body. What is this stuff? What is this? I don't know, but Ginger, take it easy now. Take it easy. Take it easy. All right, calm down now. Calm down. You know what? If you get in my way again, I will blind you. Oh, man. God, this place is coming apart here. Yeah. You know something, Cos? Ginger, you know, I never expected anybody to ever help me. And you're the last person I ever expected to come out and help me out. So, you know, I don't know what to say, cause The thing is, I've done a lot of wrong things, and I've done a lot of wrong things to you. Yeah, you know, I guess, I guess I'm sorry, you know. I, I want to say I'm sorry. I want to say, I want to say, hey, but I'll tell you what. Grappler, <laughs> hey, I always did like you anyway. You know, but listen, let me tell you something, Grappler. This is where it's at. You're bringing in your gangsters, your hoodlums. You bring in broad? I don't know if she's a broad. She's kind of brawny. If she is a broad, she's got to be a Russian weightlifter. Now listen, Grappler, you was tough in your day. You were the North American champion. I ain't got to go on. But that was in your day. I used to watch you. I was a kid then. Grappler, you know how old that makes you? That's where these people are cheering for me, cause it feels kind of nice. Yeah, listen to that. They're on their feet out there. I don't want to turn this into some episode of Days of Our Lives, so I ain't going to dwell on it. Here's the thing, Gabler. You pulled it. You pulled some more stuff. Next, Hey, Don Owens, come here. Next week, Don Owens, I want the grappler. Me and him, one-on-one. -on -one. He says, when you're the greatest, they call you the grappler. Beat me if you can. <laughs> when you're the greatest, they don't call you the greatest wrestler. They call you Sky the Body, the New Jersey stud grappler. Your reign of terror is coming to an end, pal. It's starting with me, Don. Next week, I want him. I want him off TV. I want to humiliate him in front of all the people of Portland. I want him off TV, me and him, one-on-one -on -one in a wrestling match. No frills, no gimmicks, no stipulations. Just me and him, one-on-one, -on -one, move for move, hold for hold. Can you hang, Grappler? I don't think you can. If that's what you want next week, why, you can sure have it. We'll go ahead and make the match. Okay, you got it. Now listen, I got, I got one more thing. Ginger, you helped me out a lot. This might be a little too much to ask. I'd like to ask you if you do me one more favor. Would you mind sitting at ringside? If you sit at ringside, then that, that break G-Man, G-Man and the Masters of the Universe, that big Goonie broad, that way she won't be able to interfere. Well, you know, I ain't sure if she's a girl. She might be a guy, so it might be dangerous. I don't know if you want to do it. It's up to you. You might be right about her being a guy. But anyway, I will be down there next weekend. And you know what? She, if she comes down by the ring, she's near the ring. And if I get my hands on her, I'm going to rip all those clothes off. Then we'll all know she's a guy or a girl. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's right, Grappler. Hey, she'll be there. I'll be there, Grappler. This is your swan song. This is your good wire, goodbye appearance in the Pacific Northwest because I'm going to embarrass you so totally. You'll never step foot in a ring again. Oh, there may be a couple of embarrassments. 
that will be off TV next Saturday night. We'll be right back with more after this timeout.